two days ago I was speaking about brain, so now I will be basically brief. Uh, uh, what Kostovic said today and I two days ago is our core business for 40 years. Uh, how normal human brain develops pre and postnatally. And why this normal knowledge is relevant for any clinical or pathological uh, things. But uh, as time goes and world changes, basic science is not enough. You have to be translational or applied or something to get funded. So last five years, uh, seven years ago, uh, 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 there was uh, that kind of European uh, funding source. And in Croatia, just to, to give you a context in Croatia, then in all fields of science, it was decided uh, we will form centers of excellence, like to group together uh, leading and most productive researchers and so on. And there were more than 30 applications, only 10 finally were uh, granted. And uh, our institute applied for the center of excellence in basic clinical and translational neuroscience, and we got funded. Uh, so for this, uh, what was, we, we had to choose one like uh, central topic on which all groups could connect. And we choose that it is hypoxic ischemic uh, lesion or injury to the brain, both in development and in adult. In adult, that, that's easy, stroke. Uh, so that all clinicians, psychiatrists, and others and the imaging people could be blocked. And for uh, because of what we said about normal development in the perinatal and uh, uh, early postnatal period, the this is chemical. Uh, so if you are born prematurely, like a premature, premature baby, then you are at risk. Uh, the, the main pathology of that age and perinatal period is hypoxic ischemic, ischemic lesion, leading in the worst case to cerebral palsy and in other less severe cases to all kinds of cognitive, attentional and learning deficits. So that's uh, like a main topic, which we choose for doing this. Uh, so center of excellence is uh, virtual. A real facility and core hub is again Creation Institute for Brain Research. But uh, uh, it is a hub for a network of collaborations nationwide, not just in Zagreb, but throughout Croatia. So you see, within the University of Zagreb, which is like 50% of all research and teaching in Croatia, uh, we have uh, other partners on other uh, schools. You should realize that the University of Zagreb is uh, like a corporation of holding. It's not like Oxford or Yale University, single legal entity. It is 34 legal entities called faculties or schools put together in a big corporation. So that's like external partner, basically. Then, of course, we have... Uh, 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 in OSIEC and in uh, uh, other regions, uh, leading clinical hospitals at our leading clinical hospitals in Zagreb. So it's a really nationwide network of all important neuroscience groups uh, in basic and in clinical neuroscience. Uh, and uh, we divide it around this global task, which is hypoxic ischemic lesion. Uh, uh, so that's uh, 50 to 60 senior researchers plus almost 40 young researchers in different groups. So roughly all this is a little bit less than 100 researchers. That's the size of Center of Excellence. And uh, they are divided in six ma main research groups or topics. First is, I will not read, you, you can read it too himself just to don't repeat what is obvious but uh, okay because uh, uh, that is what we were talking in our lectures basically uh, two days uh, and cost which now uh, uh, how normal developmental data which we collect for 30 40 years are relevant 
for clinical analysis of perinatal brain lesion. Uh, then there is other group for this adult part. Uh, she which is a group leader. Uh, it was a little bit tricky thing, you know. Uh, uh, all, on the first hand, there is no obvious connection be between cerebral palsy and Alzheimer's disease or something like this. But uh, to get money, you have to put the common thread. So whatever changes vascularization and oxygenation and so on, and could lead to uh, hypoxic or ischemic uh, lesion could be included if you know how to put it together. And of course, there are vascular dimensions and isolated. Uh, so uh, that was the way how to include all and not just uh, make one group uh, like privileged and uh, prioritized in the funding. Uh, then there is, of course, really relevant and important thing because uh, many of these problems come together with changes in intracranial pressure and cerebral fluid uh, dynamics or physiology. And uh, so this is Marco Rado, she's like a senior to Milan a little bit older, uh, a neuroradiologist. And uh, Clarica is an uh, international recognized expert for cerebral uh, CSF, cerebral, uh, cerebral spinal fluid, OK? So it's about uh, hydrocephalus and other things developing as a consequence of uh, ischemic lesion, mainly in development. Fourth group is uh, uh, formed to include all those who are molecular biologists and experimental approaches. So those who work either on uh, animal model or in vitro model, like cell cultures and such things. Uh, and uh, those who are leaders, uh, they like very much stem cells uh, because they dream all the time. Uh, 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 we will use nanoparticles, put it in stem cells, put it in lesion brain and it will somehow lead to regeneration and they have some success in basic research i mean they just adopt uh, what is common trend internationally uh, but this was introduced not uh, in a hope that in five five years we will come to the practical solutions uh, but just to develop that type of research uh, like that's future in it okay uh, that was purely, how to say, experimental. And I took this responsibility with a linguistics professor from the Faculty of Philosophy, their group, uh, uh, because we wanted to, you know, you can be interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, and transdisciplinary. So trans is when you connect with philosophers or linguists, or, or no, completely different field. Uh, inter and multi is when, the medical doctor, biologist, or those similar work together. So it was uh, basic, and uh, they did some important progress uh, because uh, you cannot really analyze, although long history of uh, aphasia and language disorder studies is uh, from Broca onwards, is basically done with, with uh, people, uh, by people with no linguistic training at all clinicians, uh, psychologists, and so on. So we thought it's finally time uh, to, if you want to des design test, a test is language specific. Croatian is quite different from English, for example, in syntax structure and many features. So uh, uh, finally to get linguists and uh, cognitive uh, philosophers or cognitive psychologists, if you want uh, to become uh, interacting with neuroscientists and try to develop appropriate cognitive tools for later imaging and clinical studies. And finally, uh, psychiatrists are always really important in this uh, sense. Uh, so Hennigsberg, who already had several European projects and very good uh, international network was include uh, for appointed as a head uh, for this group, which is purely clinical. Okay, 
So that's uh, how we are divided in six small armies. Uh, this I already have said. Uh, 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 we didn't apply all other centers, said uh, within five years, we will develop uh, new engineering, new uh, diagnostic tools, new drugs, uh, new medications, whatever. And it is fully unrealistic because uh, with 5 million euros total for five years, you cannot develop anything really. But uh, that's how people in Croatia approach it. Uh, 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 I'm better and more clever than others, so they need 100 billion euros, I will do it for five. And we, were, we thought we are not more clever than others, so we applied and in fact get the best ratings of all these centers, uh, just because we said we will just do basic research. Because we think that without this basic data, no clinical advance will ever be really achieved uh, because we you simply know too few things about human developing brain. So let's stick together uh, for what we did for 40 years, we can do for five years more and it will be still very useful. And I hope that publications and results show that it is really useful. So that was the right choice, not to promise uh, many things, but just groundwork going on. Uh, this I already said, ha, huh. that remained in Croatian and English, good. Uh, so just for example, when it is this clinical or uh, cognitive part, uh, these are types of testings and approaches which we developed, that's familiar to all of you, so no need to discuss it much, but uh, what is perhaps interesting, again, not for com computer people, uh, but one important thing was to develop new experimental models in animals, in rodents usually, and in pig, because uh, the rodent brain is available, but it's very small. And for, uh, for example, in the mouse, the cortex is thicker than cortical white matter, and we have uh, like three, four, five millimeters of cortex and three, four, five centimeters of white matter. So it's completely different. So to choose experimental model, it should be monkey, but monkeys are rare, expensive and protected and they are the, our relatives. Uh, so we uh, use pigs, uh, getting a mini pig or any pig because pigs are big and have convoluted brains and a lot of white matter. And of course, all kinds of rodent and in vivo with cell cultures and stem cells. That was relatively successful because you can do it in a few years. So all these groups made the progress and introduced new methods. What was after five years result? Uh, I will just uh, paper citations and so on. That's uh, centometrics, but uh, 26, I think now it's more, Goran, this is a little bit, 26 doctoral students. So it's from last year, <laughs> we didn't update. The, uh, uh, this I regard as the most important thing of all this center, uh, that young researchers came and remained, at least for now, and were able all to get abroad, to get to develop international connections, get education, go to meetings and finish their doctoral thesis. And hopefully they will be, uh, you look at me and you see I'm not the future. Uh, I'm <laughs> past fighting for, for the future. Uh, so new generation hopefully will develop all this and continue for next 20, 30, 40 years. And while we older are still here, we just try to secure conditions for this, for the new generation. I think that's enough bureaucratic introduction of, uh, so uh, Center for Excellence is basically uh, 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 other name for the Croatian Institute for Brain Research, but now we work undercover, like we are bigger network and uh, more important. But when you look basically who does all this research, that's 
Croatian Institute for Brain Research with few partners in other centers, which were already part of the Institute before. You sometimes it's like mimicry. Sometimes you have to change the name to get funding. That's simple approach. Okay, I think that's enough for 